Hi. It's a long time since we've seen you all. I'm going to read you a story and I hope you enjoy it. And in this story, it's a, it's called Cave Baby. And the cave baby gets bored. Uh, maybe some of you have been feeling a wee bit bored. So, Cave Baby might have an idea or something that you could do. Are you ready to listen? Here we go. Cave Baby's lucky. He lives inside a cave with his mum, who's good at painting, and his dad, who's very brave, and a saber-toothed tiger, a hyena, and a hare, and a grey woolly mammoth, and a big brown bear. Cave baby's lonely. Nobody will play. Dad's busy being brave and Mum says, keep away. Everything is boring. Then suddenly, it's not. For in the corner of the cave, he finds a brush and pot. Spots on the hyena, stripes on the hare, stars on the tiger, squiggles on the bear, zigzags on the mammoth. This is lots of fun. The mom and dad are furious. They say, look what he's done. And cave mom fetches water and she mutters as she wipes. No more spots and squiggles. No more stars and stripes. Cave dad waves his finger. If you don't take care, a mammoth's going to throw you to the big brown bear. <gasps> Cave baby's restless. He's feeling wide awake. The long grey trunk comes sneaking in. Oh, wiggly like a snake. Where are you taking me? Where? Tell me where. Are you going to throw me to the big brown bear? Stripes in the forest. A tiger's lurking there. Don't throw me to the tiger or the big brown bear. Crashing in the bushes. A hare is leaping there. Maybe he's escaping from the big brown bear. <gasps> a cackle in the bracken. A hyena's laughing there. Has he heard a joke about the big brown bear? A cave in the hillside. I wonder who lives there. Well, I hope it's not. Don't let it be the big brown bear. <gasps> But I think it looks a bit like a bear cave, look. It's got ears. Oh, I wonder. But the cave is bright with moonlight. The walls are plain and bare. And snoring in the shadows, someone's sleeping there. Cave baby's worried. He doesn't understand until the, ma the woolly mammoth pops a paintbrush in his hand. <gasps> a five-legged tiger! A long curly hair, horns on a hyena, a beard on a bear, a moustache on a mammoth. This is lots of fun! Oops, turn two pages. Then the mammoth wakes his family and says, Look what he's done! They rollick and they frolic, they trumpet and they crash, they wade into the water, they roll and romp and splash. They shake the baby by the hand, then lift their trunks and wave. As the mammoth picks him up again and takes him to his cave. Cave baby's happy. He's fast asleep in bed. 
dream he dreams about a tiger with stripes of pink and red and a grass green hyena and a sky blue hare and a moon yellow mammoth and a small brown bear. So Cave Baby had lots of fun. But I don't think that you should try painting on the walls in your mum and dad's house. But maybe you could get some paper and do some drawing or some painting. Just like Cave Baby. See you soon. Bye.